Hello and welcome to another edition of BHS TV News. My name is Jackson Bragman and this is my co-host Reese Bednas. This month we have features on our new associate principal, our new support animal, and so much more. We begin today with a victory for the state of Michigan. On November 26th, the Michigan Wolverines went down to Columbus, Ohio to face their biggest rival, the Ohio State Buckeyes. This wasn't just any game, it was the game. Both teams had so much to play for. In the beginning, Ohio State seemed like the dominant team. However, Michigan exploded the second half and embarrassed the Buckeyes winning the game 45-23. to Go Blue! Turning our attention back to school, Bloomfield Hills High School has hired a new associate principal. Let's go to Abel Duchateau for the latest on the newest member of the BHHS faculty. Early this month, I was able to interview our new associate principal, Mr. Orr. We talked about his new role in the school and what he has planned for the future. Build upon the great things that are already happening um, to help students and staff discover their passions and make them realities. Um, you know, I, I really, I, I love dealing with students. I love trying to make memories um, with kids and um, trying to have kids better their best, um, follow their hearts, discover their passions, and discover their new interests and passions. So really just ingrain into the, the students and the staff culture and community. So now that we know what he does, let's hear what he has to say about our school. I think the facilities are beautiful. I think the Students are extremely polite. Um, it's nice seeing them um, walk in the building, say good morning, um, the thank you, just the, the courteousness that I see is, uh, has been outstanding. And uh, uh, I just, I'm excited to get more opportunities to get involved in the culture and community of the school. So now that we know more about his job and what he has planned for the future, let's hear more about the real Mr. Ward. Uh, in the summer, I'm out on Lake St. Clair a lot. I love boating, um, so I, I'm out in the water fishing, boating with my family. I uh, love outdoor sports, and uh, I'm the guy that uh, loves to be outdoors when it comes to watching the Lions game. Half the time, um, I'm, I have a bonfire or, um, and, and watch the game in my, in my big screen in my garage. Um, I like to be outside as much as possible. Thank you, Mr. Ort. I had a blast showing that with you. You can find me in the main office during the day. He's a very personal guy, so don't be afraid to say hi. Thank you all for watching this segment for BHS TV News. Thanks, Abel. We now turn our attention to athletics, as the girls' gymnastics team has just begun their 2022-2023 season. Anthony Doria has more. With the turn of the season, it's now time for winter sports. And one of our premier teams, the Bloomfield Hills Blackhawks girls gymnastics team, is preparing for their season. Let's take a look inside the gymnastics training center and see what they're doing. The Blackhawks are coming into this season with lots of momentum, coming off the regional championship last year. And it's no secret why they're regional champions. Just look at what they can do. Here's what head coach Julia Chapman had to say about the success last year. We had a really talented senior class last year that helped us, you know, get, we got to states, we won regionals. So this year we're just trying to continue that success and recruit some new freshmen. Despite losing a lot of their seniors last year, team captain Cameron Spagna is adamant that they can keep the success going for years. Last year we had a really successful year. We've had a few of our most successful seniors graduate, so this year we just want to try and do the best we can, maybe win leagues, maybe regionals, maybe make it to states. We'll see where the year takes us, but as long as everyone's trying their best and having fun, that's what matters to me. Along with the morale of the team, the atmosphere is a very welcoming one, and sophomore Lily Moss said that was one of the main reasons why she loves her experience here at Bloomfield Hills. My experience on this team has been great. Coming in as the only freshman on the team, it was a little scary, but the girls on the team are so welcoming and it's been an amazing year and I'm excited for this year. Well, as you can clearly see, our regional champs last year are working really hard and they hope to continue that success into this year and for years to come. For BHS TV News, I'm Anthony Doria. Thanks, Anthony. Turning to politics, Christian Whitmer has been re-elected as Michigan's governor following the 2022 midterm elections. The Democratic incumbent procured 54.5% of Michiganders' votes, 
while Republican Tudor Dixon garnered only 43.9 percent. In her re-election speech, Whitmer stated, Holding this office has been the honor of my life, and I'm so grateful to have had this opportunity for the last four years. Another four years of the Whitmer regime are on the way. Bloomfield Hills has many popular teachers, but perhaps none as much as personal finance and AP economics teacher Mr. Thomas. BHS TV's own Jackson Bragman has a fun piece on what makes Mr. Thomas one of the most beloved teachers at Bloomfield Hills High School. Stephen Thomas has been teaching high school economics at Bloomfield Hills High School for five years and is one of the most beloved members of the BHHS staff. Many students, including myself, have pondered the question, what does a typical day in the life of Mr. Thomas look like? Well, let's find out. Mr. Thomas gets to school around 7 a.m. every day. I was curious what he listens to on his 30 plus minute commute. Well, two things. I enjoy my financial podcast to recap the markets from the previous day, but I also, I mean, I could not get to school without listening to the Bragman Breakdown podcast. On even days, Mr. T has prepped second and fourth hour before teaching AP Econ sixth hour, then breaking for lunch. So for lunch today, I'm eating a Greek yogurt. That'll be my protein source. I have my banana for my carbs and my potassium. And of course, I have my chia seeds for my healthy fats and omega-3s. Eighth hour, Mr. Thomas has another AP Econ class to finish up his school day. After another successful day of class, I asked Mr. Thomas's favorite part about being a teacher at BHHS. My favorite part about being a teacher is talking to the different kids and learning different stories. Uh, finding what's going on in people's lives and just everybody has a different story every day and I love learning about it. it. It creates some excitement and I just love learning about new people because we're all different and we all have our own stories to share. Mr. Thomas had a successful school day. The fun doesn't really begin until he comes back home to the Thomas residence. Typically, Mr. T comes home to his four cats, barbecue, home gym, and PS5. Mr. Thomas sure does know how to unwind. After all, it's not easy teaching AP Econ to a class full of kids with senioritis. For BHS TV News, I'm Jackson Bragman. Sublime work per usual, Jackson. I mean, this guy sure knows how to make a package. Let's now go to Reese Bendis with an update on the new furry creature roaming the halls of BH. Therapy dogs have been a growing sensation across school districts. Recently, the halls of the hills welcomed a new friend named Bronco. Here is Bronco's handler, Miss McDonald, to talk about Bronco and the impact she has seen he has had at this school. So it's been, I think, uh, three weeks, two or three weeks that we've had Bronco here. And already it is, it's, he's like magic. That's what I, how I describe it. There, I've seen a few situations where uh, students or, or people in the building are maybe escalated and, and uh, excited and Bronco's presence brings everyone down and is able to calm. And then I've also seen situations and uh, quite a few uh, scenarios where students might be feeling down, sad, anxious, um, and Bronco's presence is able to kind of bring them up. Um, in general, as Bronco's walking around the halls or visiting classrooms, in classrooms, there's um, kind of an instant calming effect, um, an ability for people to uh, interact with each other uh, in a way when they're around Bronco that breeds kindness. Um, empathy and um, support, which is really his whole purpose. Well, you know, I come into school in the morning and I, I really don't want to be here and then I see, I see Bronco, he's being such a good dog and he makes me excited for the rest of the day. It's really nice to have a warm and cuddly face just to look at when I'm walking around the school. As you can see, Bronco has had a great and positive impact here at Bloomfield Hills High School. I'm Reese Bendis with VHS TV News. I must say, Jackson, Bronco was a tough interview, but there's no doubt the students and staff here at Bloomfield love their new service dog. They sure do, Reese. We want to take this time to remind the BHS student body of the new attendance policy in place for the 2022-2023 school year. That's right, Jackson. Blackhawks are expected to be in their classrooms when the bell rings at 7.55 every morning. Families are also encouraged to schedule appointments and vacations after school hours or during school scheduled breaks to prevent students from missing valuable learning time. Make sure to be at school and be on time as we enter the end of first semester here at Bloomfield Hills High School. Mohamed Amajun now has a spotlight on the South Asian Student Alliance. Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Amajun and I want to take a look today at the South Asian Student Alliance. I am very excited to meet the student and I invite you to find more about this club by watching the interview with Mr. McLeod the sponsor of South Asian Student Alliance. Hi, my name is Mr. McLeod, and I'm the sponsor of the South Asian Student Alliance. 
Well, we've had an Indian American Student Alliance at the high school for longer than I've been here. Um, the, the club existed when I first came into Bloomfield 18 years ago, and it was about four years ago that I was asked by a group of students to take over responsibility for, for chaperoning the club. The club is an opportunity for students who are from South Asia and other parts in the area to come together to celebrate their culture, to talk about their history. Um, literally as we speak right now, I have a group of students in the room next to me getting together to play a little bit of cricket. You know, the World Cup is going on right now and they're excited to share a sport that means a lot to them. So it's an opportunity for kids to share their culture, to share their ideas, to share their beliefs, and just feel a place of belonging within our school. I ask Mr. McLeod of this club only for a South Asian student. Oh no, absolutely not. This is a club that originally was called the Indian American Student Alliance, and then we decided two years ago that we wanted a more inclusive name. So we adjusted to become the South Asian Student Alliance so that students from all throughout South Asia would be able to come and feel represented. However, please know that we're a club that is open to anyone from any culture, any part of the world who wants to learn and celebrate more about the culture of our South Asian students. We're open to everybody. Thank you, Mr. McLeod, for this interview. This is all about the South Asian Student Alliance. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Mohammed. Apollo Tasto now has some hard-hitting journalism on what your classmates are doing during lunch this school year. Hello, this is Apollo Tasto with BHS TV News, and I'm here to find out what lunch looks like for the average student. What's your name? Mara. Kennedy. Ella. Charlie. Brooke Bailanowski. So do you buy lunch or do you bring lunch? Uh, most of the time I buy lunch. I bring lunch. I normally bring it from home. I usually bring lunch. I usually buy lunch. So what do you usually buy? I usually get a salad with greens and a lot of tomatoes. Soup, because I can just heat it up. I bring a protein bar, and that's about it. Ah, uh, Cliff Bar, that's it. Uh, Bosco sticks, if they have any. What's your favorite thing about lunch? My favorite thing about lunch is getting to enjoy and like, be around my friends, like the friends that I haven't been able to be with around for our bell schedules and stuff. I'm usually hungry, so eating. Probably the break from school. I mean, to like get a second to breathe from classes, that's pretty nice. Um, I like that I can socialize with other people. Lunch brings many options to many students. I know I look forward to it every day. This has been Apollo Tosto with BHS TV News. And with that, we conclude this month's edition of BHS TV News. If you have questions or suggestions for us, feel free to send us an email at bhstvnews at bloomfield.org. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at BHS TV News and on Instagram at bhstv.news. Tune in next time for more news around the world, in your state, and in your classroom. I'm Reese Bednis. And I'm Jackson Bragman. Thank you for watching.